Hey there everybody, it's Jessica and Peanut here from Jessica Smith TV and we are excited to be bringing you another prenatal approved workout. Now if you're not pregnant, you can still definitely join us for this workout. It's not going to have any floor work or twisting motion, so if you happen to have any issues with your back, it might also work well for you. If you do happen to be pregnant, I want to first say congratulations and please be sure to check in with your doctor before you do this exercise or any other exercise. It's so important that you find out what is best for you, especially during whatever stage of pregnancy you might be in right now. So get their clearance first. Once you have it, we'd love to have you join us for this. So we're just gonna start talking while we warm up. Let's go ahead and just take this into a walk. So we're gonna be doing some total body sculpting today. I'm gonna to be using a set of seven pound hand weights. Now I want you to select something that works best for you. You might also want to choose a heavy and a light set to work with so you can start heavier and drop down lighter. If you're not pregnant, you may not need to put any limitations on the amount of weight you use. So feel free to go heavier if that's more appropriate for your body. Let's take a deep breath in, stretch those arms up overhead. Exhale, release it. Good. One more time, nice deep breath and exhale, let it go. Good, let's go back to that little side to side toe tap. Good, and another thing I wanna really encourage you to do, again, whether you're pregnant or not, is listen to your body. So if you find yourself getting more out of breath or feeling like you need to calm down or take a break, hit that pause button, grab some water, do whatever you need to do. We wanna make sure we're not pushing ourselves too hard, we're always checking in to see how we feel throughout the workout. So from here, let's just take this into a nice, easy, small side to side lunge, bending the knees out over the toes, checking in with that posture. Good, let's take a side overhead reach, just stretching through that torso. Nice, couple more like that. Last four, three, two, one. Now just bending both knees, very small, very gentle. I'm sitting slightly back at my hips, taking a little hinge at the hips. Good, we're gonna take the arms down and up. Good, just starting to raise that heart rate, really getting the blood flowing. Great job, last two. One more. You got it, let's turn those knees and toes forward, just rolling up gently through that spine, shoulders back and down, walk the feet back in. Good, so let's work into the shoulders a little bit more. We're just gonna take a reach, stretching the arms up overhead, bend and pull the elbows down. Inhaling, exhaling. Two more there, up and down. Last time, take it up. Take it down. Now just go ahead and bend those elbows into your sides, rotating from the shoulders, internal and external rotation, in and out. Good. And out, let's do one more. In and out. Good, relax the shoulders, just give me a shoulder roll up into the back. You got it. Now from here, we're just gonna take a little side to side corner step. So I'm really stepping forward and back. Little brain teaser for you too. We're gonna take the arm out in front, just the opposite arm to your stepping foot. And I want you to see if you can row that elbow back as you step forward. So I want you to use those muscles right behind the shoulder blade, stepping and pulling. Good. Two more. Nice, now just hold a split stance here. We're gonna take this foot back, heel is lifted in the back. This arm can stay lifted. We're gonna lunge slightly down, rotate through the shoulder, lift back up. Think of pressing down through your front heel, still working inside that shoulder joint. Two more. Good, last time like that. Nice, now go ahead and just reach both arms down to your front foot. We're gonna hinge at the hips, down for two, and up for two. Now you don't have to go far forward, especially if you're working with a larger belly. Just go as far forward as you comfortably can, keeping your spine nice and neutral here. Good. Just wanna to start to wake up all those muscles that line the spine. 
One more time. Nice, let's walk it out right here. We're just gonna set that up to the other direction. So we're gonna be stepping forward with this foot first, right on that diagonal. Getting that opposite arm ready, we're gonna pull back as we tap forward. So again, focusing on those upper back muscles, checking in with your posture. Good, last four, three, two, one. Now let's hold that split stance. Again, nice and slow, small lunge, down and up. So just go down for two, press up through your front heel for two. It doesn't have to be low, nice and controlled, down. Let's try one more like that. Good. Reaching both arms to either side of that front foot, hinging forward at the hips. Spine is nice and neutral. Good, so you might just go to 45 degrees here, that's okay. You can go a little lower, that's fine. Just keep your spine in that nice neutral alignment. Don't let it round. <coughs> Good. One more time. Beautiful, let's take a side to side step tap. Good, let's keep working through the front of the body in the chest and the shoulders. So we're just gonna take the arms out to the sides. I want you to just bring your elbows in and then extend out with your arms. So you're gonna hug the elbows in, using the chest. And then as you open your arms, think about your upper back, squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. Good, and out, in, out, in, out. Give me one more. Beautiful, toe tapping wide. We got one more exercise, then we'll pick up your weights. So we're gonna come back to a little plie stance with the legs, flexing through your hands. We're gonna press forward as we bend those knees out over the toes. So I want you to push forward with the chest, the front of the shoulders, opening the knees out over your toes. Now you just go as deeply as you can, see what feels good to you. Checking in, being mindful of our knees. Good. Just four more here. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, let's just take a nice deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up those weights. Carefully, go pick them up. So if you are in your third trimester, you might actually wanna keep your weights on a chair or something a little higher so you don't have to bend quite as far down to pick them up. But making sure we always use our legs to pick up our weights, keeping a nice tall posture as we stand. Good, so we're gonna move into a little shoulder exercise to start. Feet about hip width apart. Nice tall posture. We're gonna bring this arm up to the shoulder and just start with a one arm overhead press. I'm gonna press straight up, up and down. So again, please adjust your weights as we go. If something gets to be too heavy or too intense, use just your body weight at any time. Good. Nice, straight up and down. Give me eight more on this side. Six. Good, four more. Last two. One more time. You got it. Let's go ahead and move into a hinge. We're gonna stay on this arm. Hinging forward at the hips, palm faces in. We're gonna do a rear fly. So I want you to start slow and controlled. Just a hinge from the hip, up for two, down for two. Palm faces the floor. Four more nice and slow. Good. Three. Just give me two more like that. One more time. Beautiful, coming back up. Let's go right into the other side. We're gonna go back to that overhead press on the other arm. Ready, stand it tall, here we go. Push and press. Now you might find that it's more comfortable for your shoulder 
for your palm to face in towards your head, that's absolutely fine. I want you to adjust this. Make it work best for your body's needs. Good. You got it. Press straight up, pull it down. So we're using the back on the way down, shoulder on the way up. Just four more here. Last two. One more. Great job. I'm just turning to the side so you can see it better. Hinging forward from the hips. That nice, slow and controlled single arm rear fly. Up for two, down for two. Make sure you take a nice deep breath. Exhale, inhale. So slight hinge from the hips. Again, the degree far forward you go is up to you. Focus on those muscles behind the shoulder blade. Good, one more time, nice and slow and controlled. Yes, nice job. Let's bring it back up. Just walking it out for a second. So we're gonna take a split stance next and work through the chest and the front of the shoulder. So I want you to just step forward, tapping back. Good, so we're gonna bend this elbow in, steady our feet, bending through those legs. Keep the palm facing in, elbow in tight. We're gonna press out through the chest, up for two, pull back for two. Press forward, pull it back, nice. Push and pull. Push and pull, that's it. Exhaling, inhaling back. Beautiful, press and pull. Good. Keep going, just four more. Pull back. Three. Nice, two more here. One more time. Good, now hinging forward from your hips, turn your palm in. We're gonna do a rotating row, rotating the palm back. Pull back. Release now. So it's like a little corkscrew through the arm. Again, hinging forward to your own degree here. Pull, rotate down. Good, just four more like that. Pull it back, release it down. Last two. Check in with that neutral spine. Come on up, walk it out, great job. Let's get ready to set that series up on the other side. Just give me that toe tap, catching your breath, checking in with how you feel. Good, getting ready for that split stance. Ready, taking it forward, pull back. Shoulders are over our hips, posture's nice and tall. Try not to move the body as that weight comes in and out. Good. So remember, if this is starting to feel too heavy, go lighter or use just your body weight. Good. That's it. Four more of base. Press it forward. Pull it back, you got it. Three. Last two. One more time. Great job, let's go ahead and hinge forward for that rotating single arm row. Ready, pull back for two, rotate it down. So you're gonna resist as you're lowering that weight back down too. Don't just drop the arm, come down with control. Good. You're doing great. Give me four more just like that. Last two. One more. Nicely done, everybody. Let's come up to a little side to side step tap. So we're gonna work on the legs a little bit more. This one has a little bit of a balance challenge in it. And just remember, your balance is most likely a little off kilter right now. So just do the best you can. If you feel better holding on to something with your opposite hand, 
you can absolutely do that too. Just make it work for you. So we're gonna stand on this leg, weight this outside leg for me, and just give me a little hip lift so you can hold on if you need to. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Doesn't have to go high. Standing knee has a nice bend in it. Good. Focus on that single side lift. Beautiful, that's it. Keep on going strong. Good. Give me four more just like that. Four, three, two. We're gonna try to go right into the other side. Switch and lift. Good, stand nice and tall. Beautiful, so remember, it's not about the height. You just wanna lift and control, squeezing through those hips and glutes. Good. Again, use something for balance if you need some assistance here. Good, we're almost there. Last four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Let's take those feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. See what feels comfortable for your body. Placing the weights on top of the thighs. We're gonna sit back into the hips gently. So you don't have to go real low here. I just want you to imagine that you're sitting back into the seat of a chair. If you happen to have a chair nearby, you can go ahead and try tapping it, if that helps. Good, so it doesn't have to be a real deep squat. Sit back, make sure you're hinging at those hips, keeping that spine nice and neutral. Good, that's it. Couple more like that, four, and lift. Press down through your heels, three as you stand. Two more right here. Nice, last time. You got it, step that right foot forward. Left leg back, we're gonna do a small lunge. I want you to just hinge slightly forward from your hips, reaching towards that front foot. Halfway down and up, halfway down, press up. Good, again, neutral spine. Most of my weight is in my front foot. That back leg is there for balance. If holding the weights gets to be too intense, use just your body weight. So this is not about depth. I want you to keep those muscles engaging. Nice little small range of motion, but still plenty of work happening here. Let's do four more. Good. Three. Just two more here. Last time. You got it. Shake it out for a second. I'm gonna turn to the other side hitting that lunge on the other leg. So finding that split stance, slight hinge from the hips, come down and up. So adjust your feet as much as you need to. You might need to step them a little wider, a little bit closer together, see what works. Remember, we don't have to go low here. Come down, press up. Nice deep breaths. Focus your weight in that front foot. You're doing great, stay with it. Down and up. Focus on driving through that front heel, engaging up through those glutes on the way up. Let's do four more. Last two, one more, one more. You got it, come on up, shake it out, nice work. Okay, so let's go back into your upper body while we give those legs a little bit of a breather. So standing again with your feet a comfortable distance apart, knees slightly bent. We're gonna go into your arms, palms face forward, come up, two, three, and lower. Nice, slow and controlled on the way up. Biceps curl and up. Two, three, elbows in by your sides. Lift. 
four more like this, then we're just gonna flip the tempo. That's it. Three, two more here. One more. Now come up for one, lower down for three. So it's up, down, two, three. I want you to work on the resisting of gravity on the way down. Work on that eccentric lowering phase. Four more just like that. It's four. Three. Two more times. Good, one more here. Beautiful, we're gonna move on to your triceps. Now you can either keep both weights and cross them or use just one weight with both hands. See what feels most appropriate for you. We're gonna take those arms overhead, bending the elbows in. Same idea, we're gonna press up for three, two, one, and bend. Relax your chin to your chest. Take your time, push, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and lower. Four more at this pace. Three. It's two. One more. Now take it up for one. Bend, two, three. Up, bend, back, good. Good, watch the back here. Make sure you're not stressing through that spine. Lighten the weights if you need to, or use just those arms. Two more. One more time. Nice work, everybody. Let's carefully bring those weights down. Take two back up if you're using just one. Let's walk it back out. You're doing great. So we're gonna go back into our chest, back and shoulders, and then we're done. So we're gonna move back into the chest. I want you to just go ahead and take a little bit wider stance with your feet, palms facing forward. We're gonna alternate the arm front and down. So I want you to pause for a second at the top, present that weight forward, your palm is up. Good, so a nice solid stance through our legs. Support the back, nice tall posture, good. Exhale and inhale. You got it. Lift and lower. Two more alternating. Good, one more time. Nice, now we're just gonna pivot the toes, turn the hips, hinge forward from the body. We're gonna take both arms back on a wide rear fly row. Nice and wide for two, lower down. So you're gonna aim back in a diagonal, thinking of sending those elbows back to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Just four more. Three. Two. One more time. Good, take it back to the center. That nice wide stance. Shoulder press up overhead, pull back. So we're gonna start wide, bring the weights closer together over your head. Good, that's it. Pressing up, pulling down. Four more like this. Three, you look great. Give me two more, keep breathing. One more time. Beautiful, we're gonna take that one more time through. Palms down, let's start with this side first. Taking it up and down, other arm. Scoop under, use that chest. Good, nice and controlled here. Up and lower. Good. Solid stance with the legs, make sure you're not leaning back. You got it, taking it forward and back. Scoop under to lift up. You got it. Nice. Just give me one more. 
You got it. Let's turn the toes and hips to the side, going back to that wide upper back row. Ready? Here we go. Take it back, up, and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together, and lower. Up for two. Resist for two. You're doing great. Relax your neck, keep that spine neutral. Two more. Last one. You got it, come on back one more time. That wide overhead press. Push up, pull down. Exhale, inhale, you got it. Nice, lift. Same thing here, neck is relaxed. So again, pay attention to your breath. That heart rate's probably climbing a lot faster than you're used to if you're working out pregnant. So honor your body, take more breaks if needed. Good, two more. One more time. Nicely done, everybody. Okay, let's carefully Go ahead and set those weights to the side. We're just gonna take a second to lower the heart rate a bit more. Just kind of stretch things out a little bit as we wind down. So a nice side to side step tap. Good. Plant your feet, give me a nice deep breath in. Arms up overhead, interlace your fingers together. Stretch the arms up. Let's take a side stretch, out and over. Doesn't have to be far. Come center. Other side, little gentle side opener. Good, release, shaking out your hands. Take your hands back behind your back. Little stretch across the front of the shoulders and the chest. And just remember when you are pregnant, you wanna just make sure you're not overstretching. So pay attention to your body. Good, take one arm across. A little hug, stretch that upper back. You could also choose to drop your ear over, stretch out that neck if that feels good. Take it to the other side. Hug that arm across. Optional to drop that ear over. Good, release it. Let's take this arm up, bending the elbow behind you, drop the chin to the chest. Using the opposite hand if you'd like to hug it in a little closer. Other side, big stretch, bend, hug. Peanut, you're cooling down with us, I see. <laughs> Let's bring the hands together. Just stretching through the wrists and the forearms. Take it to the side and to the other side. Good, just shake it out. Let's do a little stretch here for the back, which I know can get really tender. So we're gonna bend the knees, just placing the hands right on top of the thighs for support, doing a standing cat cow. So to your own degree, just see how much you can round your spine, bring your chin towards your chest, and then just arch the back, try to gaze upward. Inhaling as you round if you'd like, and exhaling as you arch. It's kind of a nice way to stretch that low back, massaging the spine a bit. One more. Good, let's just slowly come back to standing. Roll those shoulders down, away from your ears. You got it. Just taking one foot out in front of you. Again, hold on to for something for balance if you need it. Hinging back in your hips, keep the spine long. Just a slight little stretch for the hamstring and that front leg. And let's bring it up. Turn it to the other side. Hinge back in your hips. Nice, and one more for the front of the hip. Just bending both knees, taking one leg behind you, tuck that tailbone slightly under, just pressing slightly forward with your pelvis. Switching legs. Press the hips forward, get a little stretch. Good, one last time, take a nice deep breath in. 
and exhaling and releasing. Thank you guys so much for training with Pina and I today. We really enjoyed this session with you and we hope to see you all for another workout very soon. Take care, everybody.